Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing another full face of dupes. So if you haven't seen these kinds of videos here on YouTube before, basically it is one side of high-end expensive luxury makeup, and then on the other side of the face are all the exact matching affordable drugstore dupes. So these are all products that I have tried and tested, you know, both of them in comparison to each other, and they are exact matching dupes. Um, yeah, it's just a fun way if you are looking to save a little bit of money, but you're still wanting to get the same effect as as you would get with these higher end products. And also the interesting part is a lot of the times, well not all the time, but a lot of the times the drugstore or affordable dupes, they can be heaps better than the uh, higher end counterparts. So if you're interested in seeing a full face of dupes, then please keep on watching. So I think I'm gonna do drugstore this side, high end this side. Okay. All right, starting off with primer. So I have got the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is incredibly popular, fantastic for increasing longevity of makeup, for, you know, erasing fine lines, pores, all of the texture on the skin. Amazing. You guys, this primer here, oh, I cannot speak highly enough of it. This primer does exactly the same as the Smashbox one. Both of them have a very silicone type feel. But this, I mean, this primer is, I think, like $9 or something. It might be less. Um, the packaging is even nicer, though. So this has got, like, a little fluid dropper, and you pop it on the back of your hand. Oh, it does run, but it feels so incredibly smoothing on the skin. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to apply this one first. So this one is called the Ordinary, what is it, High Spreadability Fluid Primer. Initially, the Smashbox one feels a little bit, I don't know, kind of like a little bit thicker. But once it warms up on the skin, they feel exactly the same. They're both clear, they both give the skin a really blurred, um, you know, kind of soft finish and huge differences in the price, huge difference. Okay, moving on to foundations and I've got another ordinary product. Is that what I call it? I hate calling it ordinary. It sounds like the product is ordinary. There is nothing ordinary about this. So this is the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. I did recently do a full review video on that one if you haven't seen it. Incredible, high coverage, lightweight, natural looking foundation. And I actually think that it is a perfect dupe for this YSL one. So this is the YSL, what is this called? I think like fluid ink or something. I need to Google that. Hang on. It's the YSL Fusion Ink Foundation. I honestly think these are an incredible dupe of each other. Price-wise, there is a massive difference. This one is like $85 and this one is like $10. So, ooh. The YSL one you do have to shake up. I don't typically feature this one too much. Um, I don't know how we're going to go with the colors. I actually think that the colors of both of these foundations are going to be completely different. Let's just apply this one first and then try our best to match it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going in with the Sigma Round Kabuki brush. If you are interested in getting anything from Sigma, you can use the coupon code Nakia Joy and that will get you 10% off. By all means, you do not have to use that. Um, it's just there as an option if you want to try these brushes out. As you can see, it's a really nice smoothing foundation. It feels very lightweight on the skin. It's got great texture. This YSL one is actually not my all-time favorite foundation foundation by any means. Um, I way prefer this one by The Ordinary. It's so much better. I'm not sure how we're going to go for color matching. I've been using this one non-stop since I got it. Oh, it's just way too dark. I do have a lighter one here, so I might mix the two colors together. One thing that I will say about this foundation is it does oxidize very, very quickly. So um, essentially, as soon as you put it on your skin, it will oxidize darker. So try, if you're ordering online, um, try to grab it in a couple of shades um, lighter than you would normally match to so that it actually will match your skin. I don't know why they go so dark. They just... They just oxidize. Oh, also bear in mind, different foundations oxidize differently on different skins as well. So maybe just grab two to be safe because it is so affordable. And then you can custom mix the color, you know, for every season all around the year. All right, so that is what the skin is looking like. It feels exactly the same on both sides. It looks exactly the same on both sides, but we have saved like around $80. So I'm not gonna say no to that. <laughs> okay, for brows, I've got some different options here. I've got this L'Oreal. This is the Brow Artist Genius Kit. I have been using this one for ages absolutely adore it really nice cool tone brow powders and then this one here the sigma medium brow powder i don't know what it is about this brow powder but it is amazing it's um, definitely one of my favorite formulations i think both of these are interchangeable so whatever you prefer you use i'm just going to quickly fill my brows and you guys will see me do this a thousand times i unfortunately don't have another brow gel dupe that i haven't already spoken about so 
I'm just gonna have to make do with using the same one on both sides. All right, moving on to the eyes. Actually, let's zoom in so you can actually see. Now, I don't have um, any dupes for eye primer, so I'm just gonna be using the concealers that I'm gonna be using on both sides of my face. So the uh, Maybelline Instant Ager one, Incredible concealer, very easy to blend, um, great coverage, great pigmentation, great for oily skin, all of that good stuff. And I think that the Tarte Shape Tape is a really good dupe for this one. Um, it's certainly the closest Shape Tape dupe that I've been able to find. The Shape Tape, I would say at this point in time, is my favorite concealer to use for coverage, for oily skin, for under eyes. It's just, it does everything. Now, for the high-end side, we're going to be using the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. If you are not familiar with this one, it's a, it's a cult favorite palette, basically. Looks like this, and it's typically sort of more of like a cool tone eyeshadow palette. And the dupe that I have of this one, this is the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes 2. This is a 28 eyeshadow palette. It's obviously a lot more affordable. And if you ignore this top, you know, this top line of shadows with the greens and the blues, but the rest of the shadows in this eyeshadow palette are nearly dead on accurate uh, matches for the Urban Decay Naked 2. You'll see as I use this that the majority of the shades are exactly the same. So starting on the higher end side, I'm going in with Booty Call by Urban Decay. And this is like a shimmery kind of champagne color for highlighting the brow bone. I'm gonna apply that on the inner corner as well. And then from the BH Cosmetics palette, I'm picking up a mixture of their shimmery colors. They've got like a cool tone and a warm tone shimmer, so I've kind of mixed them together um, to get a color similar to this one. But as you can see, like the BH Cosmetics one's actually a little bit more potent. Okay, so through the crease on this side, I'm gonna take uh, this one, what is this? Tease? Tease. Urban Decay Tease. This is kind of like their blending shade. Now the only difference is obviously this BH Cosmetics palette does not have any matte shadows, but once I've completed both looks, it's not going to matter. And if you wanted to get the BH Cosmetics palette, you could always use whatever bronzer you had on hand, you know, through the crease um, anyway. And I'm picking up um, a similar taupey shade out of the BH Cosmetics one. See, once you blend them, I mean, they're definitely shimmery, but see what I mean? Like, it's exactly the same color tone. Okay, I'm picking up this shimmery kind of shade from both palettes. So in the Urban Decay, this one is called YDK, and in the BH Cosmetics, it doesn't have a name, but you can see that they're both extremely similar. I'm gonna pack this all over the lids. Guys, this palette is nice. It is so nice. Now, YDK from Urban Decay has got more of like a shimmery kind of silvery finish. So what we will do do is to match those two colors so yeah this one's a little bit lighter i'll finish applying it and then i'm gonna pop a tiny bit of silver over the bh cosmetics side just to balance them out i'm using just like a silvery color to do that it will achieve exactly the same look all right i'm gonna be doing a wing with this eye look i think so i've got some gel eyeliner dupes here i've got the rimmel this is their gel eyeliner for some reason I thought it had a different name it's just a black gel eyeliner so this is the MAC fluid line in black track I think that these are amazing dupes of each other really easy to work with uh, really nice and creamy transfer proof on the eyes and super black so I'm going to be applying these to both sides my favorite brush to do gel eyeliner is the Sigma angled brow brush I actually prefer this over their angled like winged eyeliner brush I just think that it's smaller it's easier to work with and I don't know I just like it better. All right, so eyeliner is on. I can't really see a difference between both sides, so you might as well um, get the cheaper option. It's funny, I wanted to go with a natural winged eyeliner. Don't know how this happened. I just don't know. <laughs> for mascaras, I've got these two here. I think that these are seriously exact dupes for each other. So the Jordana Best Lash Extreme versus the uh, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. Both of these are incredible thickening mascaras and I find that both of these won't smudge on my skin type personally. I'm only putting a tiny little bit on. Um, I'm going to do lashes and then I'll come back and apply the rest. All right, so there are the eyes all done. I personally don't think that one side looks any different to the other. I think they look exactly the same, and obviously this side is a hell of a lot cheaper. Moving back onto the skin, I'm going to use those same concealers that I used earlier to prime my eyes, and I'm going to pop them um, just sort of in the general areas where I might need a little bit of extra coverage. Definitely not exactly the same colors, but... We're going to work with it, girl. And I'm just going to blend them out using a beauty blender. Actually going to do some cream contouring and highlighting today. I'm excited. I never, well, 
Not never, but I hardly ever cream, contour, and highlight, so I'm excited to do it today. I've got Drugstore and High End. High End being the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. I use the Medium Kit. I think it's amazing. And then a great dupe that I found is the BH. Uh, this is their Pro, Studio Pro uh, Contour Palette. Honestly, these creams are so good, so easy to blend with, so gorgeous. And I mean, look at these two kits. Obviously, the Studio Pro one, you get a lot more. But there is an option and there's an exact color match for every one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. So we are going to be uh, cream contouring and highlighting with these today. So starting off with the highlighter, I'm taking the yellow shade. I'm going to take it from both palettes. Now, um, one thing that I will say about the BH Cosmetics one is that you do need to use a little bit more product than the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. However, it is easier to blend out. So there's kind of pros and cons of both of these. Obviously, the incredible price difference being a major, major pro. And then the Anastasia Beverly Hills one on this side. Now, I find with this one, it is a little bit like it's not as, I don't know, creamy as the BH Cosmetics one. So it does take a little bit more to blend out. However, it is is also more pigmented um, so yeah just be careful not to use like a huge amount because otherwise you're gonna really struggle to blend it out I am going to wear this makeup for the rest of the day and do a little check back in later on so that you guys can see how these wear um, and you know whether they're different now, these BH cosmetics ones are potent so just be like really careful I like to start with one that's kind of like a medium color and a little bit warmer and I'm gonna pop it up here as well and I'm just going to do a little bit of blending um, with this same brush to make my life easier. This BH one's honestly such a beautiful palette. You cannot go wrong. All right, so that side is done with the BH Cosmetics palette. Let's move on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills side. Again, these are potent, so just be like really, really careful. Because, oh dear because that happens. <laughs> okay, moving on to powder. I've got two powders here that basically do exactly the same thing. These are both loose, um, very finely milled powders, and they're designed to give a really soft focus to the skin, blur out any imperfections, pores, and things like that. So this one here is the Sleek Makeup Professional Finishing Powder, and I have got it in the color 008. The color doesn't really matter too much because they are virtually colorless, and it's also got like a very slight reflect. Like when you move around in the light and stuff, it doesn't give the skin like a highlight, but it does give it um, some some health and the Becca powder does exactly the same things. All right, so I'm going to set on this side with the sleek powder first. So that's the sleek side there. See how it's given like a really soft focus to the skin and I'm not highlighted, but my skin looks like it's kind of glowing. Yeah. Now going in on the other side with the Becca powder and um, it essentially does the same thing. I will say the Becca powder kind of feels a little bit smoother. They do exactly the same thing. So yeah, Becca side. Actually, you know what? I think that the sleek side looks smoother. My pores look more blurred. But, um, yeah, the Becca side feels softer, if that makes sense. Okay, moving on to blush. We're going to be using one of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. So this is the one Peachy Love. And obviously, this has got um, some really nice peachy tones in it. And the dupe that I have for this, and in fact, the dupe is a little bit more pigmented, is this one here by Sleek again. This is the blush by 3 in the color Lace. So very similar concept. You get three blushes in the one palette, and they've got um, different textures to them as well, so shimmers and mattes. Um, but yeah, the Sleek, I mean, the entire Sleek cosmetic line is targeted towards women of color, so their products are like incredibly, incredibly pigmented. All right, I'm just going to basically pick up all the shades and do a bit of a mix and apply this now with the sleek one it is obviously crazy crazy pigmented so just be very very careful when you dip your brush in get rid of any excess off it otherwise you're gonna have like a stripe just warning you <laughs> look they look exactly the same on both sides you would never know. And obviously this is a lot more affordable. Moving on to highlighter, I've got two palettes here. So first up, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the That Glow Shade range. And then for the dupe, I've got this one by NYX. This is the Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. And the cool thing about this is it's got the four matching shades, like seriously exactly the same colors out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. But it's also got three more. Yeah, we're gonna go like this lighter kind of color. Oh, yes, NYX. I freaking love NYX makeup. It's so good. And then the Anastasia Beverly Hills side. Oh, 
again, next level. I always do that too. I always say, oh, you know, I'm not gonna wear much highlighter. And then all of a sudden you can see your own reflection in my face. Don't know how it happens. <laughs> and then finally, we're going to do a dark lip color today just to change things up a little. So I feel like these are exact, 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 exact dupes of each other, like seriously. So I've got the MAC Retro Matte Lip Color in the shade High Drama and the Sleek Matte Me Lip Cream in the color Vino Tinto. So I'm gonna do the MAC one on the top lip and then this one on the bottom so you can see um, the differences in the consistency and the color. I like these MAC ones because the brushes are very easy to get a perfect clean line. Um, I typically will always go back in with a brush anyway, but it definitely makes it a lot easier to um, get that perfect line around your lips. Okay, that looks really weird. It looks like I've got a mustache. How weird does that look? Um, on the bottom lip, then going in with the Sleek one. I do definitely find with these wine colors that I can't get away with only doing one layer. Um, the color, I don't know, they're, they're all just patchy. I haven't found any difference between any brands. Okay, so this here is the finished look. So we've got the drugstore side here and then the high-end side here. I honestly can't really see a difference. I think that it looks exactly the same. And I'm feeling kind of edgy in this dark lip for once. So what I will do is I will check in one more time at the end of the day after I've worn this uh, makeup all day long so that you can see if there are any differences between um, either sides of my face or if the mascara is smudged or like the blush is faded or something. Um, yeah, you'll be able to see all of that then. So yeah. I will talk to you very soon. Hey guys, back again. So I just wanted to quickly show you how this makeup is wearing. I still think that everything looks pretty well the same. Actually, let's zoom in so that you can get a closer look. So yeah, drugstore side here, um, everything looks really good. Like the eyeshadow hasn't creased, the uh, mascara hasn't smudged, the eyeliner hasn't smudged, everything looks the same. Brows are looking good, skin's looking good. Oh, that highlight though, I can't deal. I did um, take the lipsticks off, I will tell you that much. Um, I was just getting it everywhere when I was eating lunch, so I've just chucked on another lipstick. So yeah, that's definitely changed. And then over here we have the higher end side. I definitely think that the drugstore side looks a lot better. Um, probably the only thing is the under eye area under here is less bright and sort of, I don't know, kind of more creasy than um, the higher end side. That's the only thing, but the rest of the skin and the rest of everything else, I actually think that it looks better on the drugstore side. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I love doing full face dupes videos. So yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know what your favorite dupes are for popular high-end products and I'll definitely try and pick them up. And we'll be doing lots more dupe videos in the future. I promise. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye.